all about one day being on that big stage in front of hundred thousands of people, maybe one day millions when it comes to being on the world stage. Like that's that's the dream, that's the goal. It really is hard for challenger teams to get onto that LCS level because they're practicing, trying to play on an LCS level, but getting paid absolutely nothing. That's just tough on players that you know, deal with real life. And that's why I always tell myself, like, one day, it, when, when I'm on that big stage playing against world teams and putting up a fight and my fans' Twitter feed, Facebook feeds, going crazy, friends, family, and that's why I always tell myself that I'm going to be. And that's how I keep myself positive. I, I think I've been pursuing the professional league career for about two years now. So the incident was when we were trying to go for promotion. My team ended up ghosting. It was like stress from every single side. That was probably like one of the biggest impacts of my life, saying like cheating just should, shouldn't happen. From then, I told myself that I won from, from having a tarnished reputation of you know, I was told as a, like being told as a cheater, and it was a really horrible feeling. The best way to do it was to just go clean from from then on. Previous teams, I've always had like people that weren't 100% committed to it. So I had, there was a phase of my league career where I was just a streamer. So I stream here. I practice with my team. Uh, when I stream, sometimes I like to wear like silly hats, so like let's say, I'm like, oh screw my team, let's just get farming, and I just wear my rice hat, you know. <laughs> After losing to EG in our latest uh, promotional match, I was honestly devastated, <laughs> like to simply put it. I thought to myself, like, I could have played better. I really targeted myself. And then afterwards, I kind of like got myself on the feet. I would probably thank my family and my girlfriend for, you know, keeping me in check. Well, life is is always going to you know you have your ups and downs, and and you're always going to get knocked on your on your ass. It's just more so of getting getting back up. The thirst for competition, that's what fuels me to become a better person, become a better player. I got contacted by the manager saying, "Would you like to play for EG?" And I would say that the the main thing that was going to my head was the not the hundred people in the crowd, but the the hundred thousands of people on Twitch. Oh, oh my god. Robert X Lee. That's oh. unlucky. Cupcake. Oh, trap. A cupcake. A trap. A trap. Oh no. He comes up big with the Yordo trap. It's not even a Yordo. After playing with EG, I got the, the taste of LCS. I know that I could play on an LCS level. And I know that I could translate that to turn my team into an LCS team eventually. And I really, really want to play at that Staples Center. That's, that's where I want to be. Words can't even describe of how bad I want it. I've dropped almost everything just to pursue this dream. The next time you'll see me is in the next relegations when we play against the relegated team. Being a top three team for the playoffs isn't even a question. We will be the top three, 100%.